St. Joseph's Medical Center admitted that hundreds of patients treated there received expensive surgeries to have heart stents implanted. Problem is, they didn't need the potentially dangerous procedure. Now, patients are suing and the federal government is investigating for Medicare fraud. Steve Allen with Hodis Pesson and Katz is joining us with a closer look at the case. Good morning to you. Good morning, Patrice. All right, before we get started, I want to read just a part of a statement that St. Joseph's put out. They say that um, they have not seen the lawsuit, but it has taken aggressive action to correct the problem and that it does not believe the patients who were treated are at immediate risk. St. Joseph's is saying pretty much this did happen. We are admitting that happened. That seems to make a lawsuit kind of easy. They're trying to separate themselves from the conduct. What St. Joe's is worried about is that not only will the doctor be sued, mm -hmm. but they too will be sued. So what they're trying to say is, we didn't know this, we had no reason to know it, and the minute we discovered it, we disclosed it. So they're trying to soften the blow that they will suffer, which could be very substantial. But why wouldn't they be responsible for knowing what their doctors are doing? Well, that's the real issue. They have both quality control. Now, remember, this doctor, for a period of time, was an outside physician with an outside mm -hmm. group. Yes. But he was also a hospital physician mm -hmm. from 2008 on. And what St. Joe's is worried about is they're going to be accused of either knowing or, or essentially looking the other way because of the great volume of money that was coming in from these stents. Could St. Joseph's or the, the doctor in question here say, well, the patients that got it, they're, they're in no immediate risk. They haven't had any bad repercussions from it. They're doing fine. There's no damage. You can't sue me. Well, the first issue is going to be is whether or not the patients needed it. Mm -hmm. Although St. Joe's has raised a question as to whether the stents were medically necessary. You have to look at each case individually. So that'll be the first issue. Then the second issue will be what has been the damage to the patient from the stent. There's also another issue. One of the things that St. Joe's has to worry about are the insurance companies mm -hmm. who paid for all these stents coming out of the woodwork and saying, you did this just to get money from us. We want our money back. And that leads me to the, the federal investigation of this. They're, they're investigating Medicare fraud. Talk about what it is exactly they're looking for. Well, what happens with the federal government, the federal government will frequently pay for a lot of these procedures. If the people are on Medicare or Medicaid, then the federal government or the state government ultimately pays for the procedure. They become the insurance mm -hmm. company. So what they're looking at is whether or not St. Joe's was involved, whether or not these procedures were necess necessary. And here you could be looking at very substantial damages. Under the Medicare law, if you can establish that there's been a Medicare fraud, there's treble damages. Okay. So not only does St. Joe's have to pay back what they receive, but they could be forced to pay back three times what they received. Woo, they don't want to hear that. All right, Steve Allen, thank you so much. Well, coming up, you may have never thought about it, but some say there's a high risk in hot dogs, the changes experts want to reduce choking.